Ignatz Mouse um, left a comment. Thanks very much on my mail merge video. That's a big help and you make it easier. I actually want to save each record as a separate document, their assignment grades. Is there any way to do that? Thanks again. Yeah, there is. Um, let me show you. We just have to go a couple of extra steps, okay? So here is my, here's my data source. I'll use my one Thai word a day again, okay? And I need the master document like so and then it's gonna because it's the mail merger set up it's gonna select all the records from month three in the requisite data source which I'm gonna grab the file like so and there we go it's now caught up now one of the things if you've seen my other other videos you know it's all about styles in word now as you can see here my cursor is in the top word and if you look up on the style ribbon it's heading one and this is how you have to format your documents okay we need that heading one to be almost like the separator for our individual files okay that's what we need so if i go to mailings and i preview results this is what i see and then I can go to the end and it goes to 45, but I think there's only 30 records. 30, 31 is blank, okay? Now what you need to do is you need to finish and merge, edit individual documents, and I want one to 30. I don't want all the blank ones at the end. And then what it will do is it will create this single file for you. Now, as you can see at the end of each, um, record we have this section break so what we need to do now is we click on the view tab and then we click on outline and then that gives us this outline here like so now it, on the ribbon here you see master document now if i select all control a select all sorry if i click on show document that then shows me all of these other options now if i just select all and then create what this will do is it will create create sub documents from this master and when i create like so that's what it's going to do as you can see it's put in more breaks and so on and so forth now if i save this file if i save this as mail merge mail merge one I copy that and I'm going to save this as one tie word a day and I save that into that file what it's going to do is it's going to create the sub documents from that each the individual sub documents as you can see now as you can see here it's got this because we've got this section break at the end it's going to insert this new page and all you need to do if you can do like find what we're looking for a section break and then we replace it with nothing that's what it's going to do and it's going to give you it as the the structure of the second record now if you're doing student grades and you're doing this in a4 in a letter then the first section and the second section are going to be the same okay but because i'm using flashcards that's why you've got the difference there what i would recommend that you do is from this point record a macro sorry i clicked on the wrong button there um here's my macro and this one's going to be in in my this case is macro seven you can name it what you want so we want a macro that's going to control h then we insert sorry this one 
section break and then we replace it with nothing okay replace all and then close and then we do control E to reset that I'm not unsure what that style was in the original and now you've set your macro what you can do is run this macro on every file I know it's a pain but you can also run this on a series on a group of files within a folder okay um, and that's what I would recommend that you do okay thanks